Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, Barakatham to the hopefully elect, and this is just a real quick, uh, some spiritual gems, you know, Lord, from time to time, he'll show you little things here and there, you know, um, a lot of times, you know, the, the, the Lord will drop spiritual gems, you know, uh, pretty much the Spirit let you know that, you know, hey, the Lord is, he, he's communicating with us, you know, and for all of us is different like a lot of brothers see um the number 144 or 444 or you know whatever the case may be you know um the lord he dropped drops those spiritual gems right and um like i said this is just real quick because i noticed um when i pick my daughter up from school um when i pick her up from school and as we're walking to the car um i notice how because pretty much um, like when the sun is out, you know, we're walking and I notice how as we're walking, she's pretty much like walking beside me, but she's, she's walking in the angle to where she's pretty much keeping pace with my shadows. So pretty much that she doesn't, um, you know, the, 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 the to pretty much, she, pre she pretty much uses me as a shield to block her from the, 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 from the sun hitting her, you know, and like I said, I noticed it today, and I just thought it was funny, you know, because, um, where's that at, in Isaiah chapter 32, you know, and again, Lord's will, you know, this is just meant to be, you know, edifying, uplifting, you know, quick hit, um, Isaiah 32, and let me turn this off before I get any no distractions, Isaiah 32 and 2 says, And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock, as a sh as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right. And like I said, when, when I noticed this, how she, like I said, she, um, she walks right beside me to the point where she's basically right on my hip, right? And keeping pace, uh, she's, she's, she basically walks... In, in my shadows so like i said the sun doesn't hit her and whatnot you know and and when i when i noticed that I, I i thought about the precepts going into like this here how basically a man you know when all hell breaks loose out here all right a man of the lord an israelite man of the lord um how he's gonna how it's, it's gonna be through him how you know uh women are gonna for the most part and children for the most part they're gonna obtain protection they're gonna be protected all right they're gonna have that hedge all right because again you know when it comes down to it and, and when it's full-blown jacob's trouble you know martial law um famines and, and things of that nature all right if you don't have a man of the lord then you know again because it's going to be by way of a man of the lord that's how you're going to receive protection all right he's because he's going to be your covering as i just as i just read here all right read it again it says and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind so pretty much a safe haven all right that's how a man of the lord is going to be in that day he's going to be like a he's going to be as a safe haven just as yahweh shot is our safe haven he's our hedge all right he's our head he's our hedge right you know it's going to be the same for 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 women and children when it comes to the israelite man all right he's going to be that 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 savior all right it says in a covert from the tempest or, or, like I said, a, a, a covert or, or, or pretty much a covering, right? It says as rivers of water in a dry place, right? Because, hey, again, um, um, as rivers in a dry place, because put it like this, there's going to be a shortage, right? Because the Lord's going to be doing so much killing in that day, right? As it tells you in 2nd Ezra's man, you know, it's gonna be. It's gonna to appear to be one to two to a city, one to two people to a city, ten people to a city. It's gonna appear like that because you know, it's, 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 this place is gonna be desolate. All right, it's gonna be unrecognizable very soon. All right, and coming coming across a man of the Lord, an Israelite man of the Lord, man that's gonna is gonna come across. It's, it's gonna be. It's compared to fine gold or a rare commodity, which that's how a man of the Lord is gonna be in that day. All right, because it's not gonna be like now where. You, you know, you got brothers out there on the highways and byways, and you know, brothers is out there. You know, it's not gonna be like oh, how it is now. You see, you know, and coming across a man of the Lord, an Israelite man of the Lord, um, 
that's going to be like coming across like let's say you've been walking i use this analogy all the time it's, it's going to be like walking in the desert for miles and miles and miles and maybe you haven't gone days maybe you you have gone days without eating or, or drinking anything right you know um and, and you've been in that condition let, let's just say for a few days all right um and then you fin finally come across a body of water you know you're going to cherish that that body of water with your life man more than anything all right it's going to be precious to you all right so valuable right you're not going to want you're not going to want gonna want to let it go or anything man you're not gonna want to you know that body of water to leave your sight man that's how a man of the lord is gonna be it's like gonna be like coming across that body of water in in, in a very in a, in a desert land and you like i said you haven't eaten or drinking anything in days all right that's how it's gonna a uh, man of the lord is gonna be in that day man you're gonna love it all right um and you see because that's the thing man that, that's another thing you know um because for the most part it'd be our own people you know it be our own people giving us the most hell, you know. Um, hell, we get more respect from from the nations and, and even more so Esau than, than than our own people, especially our women. All right, our our, our children are all disobedient and, and out of order. You know, you know our, our our people, man, they they don't love us, man. You know, but you see, not day hey, they're gonna learn to love. They're, they're gonna learn to love us. All right, they're gonna learn to cherish and respect the men of the Lord. All right, you know. And um, it says, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And like I said, when 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 I noticed that, when the Spirit had me peep that today, that uh, this is what I thought about. All right, when it says, just to you know, give a visual. Right. Um, Salak here. I'm trying to weave through this traffic. So um, again, it said, the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right. And um, like I was saying, you know, um, just observing that through the spirit, that's what it made me think about this. Right. You know, because pretty much when you walk in, in a, uh, I'll just I'll just put it like this. When you're walking in a very uh, when you're walking in the sun and it's in this it's a hundred, a hundred and twenty degrees outside, you know, and you come across some shade, man. Again, going back to the analogy that I use with the body of water. When you're walking in a, a, a desert and you come across a body of water, right? Um, hey, when you find some shade, when you've been walking in the sun all day in 120, 120 degree weather, all right, the heat, the radiation from the sun beaming down, right? And you come across that shade, man. Hey, man, you're gonna cherish that, man. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love every second of, uh, of being in that shade, man. Being in that shadow, all right? You know, you might even feel a little breeze or whatever the case may be. Again, that's how a man of the Lord is gonna be in that day, man. All right. You know, um, and also this here, right? Because when you're reading, um, when you're reading uh, uh, Ezekiel, matter of fact, I'll get get that real quick. Ezekiel nine, Ezekiel chapter nine, verse four, it says, "And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark." Upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. All right. So you see this mark, which goes into it, exemption from judgment. All right. It said, um, again, it said, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. So pretty much again, because you know, at the end of the day, the Lord is dealing with he, He's dealing with the man. All right, he, He's dealing with men. Uh, uh, he's dealing with the men, and like I said, um, this hedge of protection um, is going to come by way of an Israelite man of the Lord, a man of Yahweh Shai. All right, it's going to come through of the. It's going to come through the man. It didn't say woman. It didn't say child. It's going to this this is this protection, this hedge, this covering. All right. Um, it's going to come by way of a man, an Israelite man of Yahweh Shemal Shai. And if you don't fall under his umbrella, then you're not going to have that hedge. All right? You're not going to have no protection, no covering. And that's what I was going to get in, um, what is that? Um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. Um, Where's that at? I think that's 35. Um, just 
go through it real quick. <clears throat> it's Ecclesiasticus 35. Or is it 36? Let me try 36. Yep, Ecclesiastes chapter 36. Well, I'll start at verse 24. It says, he that getteth a wife or a woman, a wife is interchangeable with woman. It says, beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself and a pillar of rest. All right. But you see, the thing about it is, and this is why, like I said, a lot of you, um, uh, 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 as far as the women and even children, right? Because like I said, man, you know, our own women, you know, they're not really our women, man. Our, our children, they're, 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 they're pretty much Esau's kids, man. All right. You know, um, um, and that's why I said, you know, a lot of them, hey, they, they, they're going to have to learn the hard way, man. You know, um, because I'm going to put it like this. Um, we were created to be the Lord's possession. All right. Because as the scriptures go into how we were. Or pretty much where compared to 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 uh we're like it unto a wife unto unto the heavenly father all right you, you see because like i said the lord he's dealing with men all right um and he created us for his pleasure he he created the men the israelite man for his enjoyment all right um and, and with that being said when, when you follow the natural order of things because when you go through the natural order, of course, it's the Heavenly Father, then Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son. Then it's the man, the woman, then the children, right? So like I said, the, 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 the Lord, the Heavenly Father created us for his enjoyment, for his pleasure, right? We're his possession, all right? We're his woman, you see? And in return, A, the Lord, he created the woman for our pleasure, for the men's pleasure, all right? Because, you know, you try to speak these things in this in this type of society this westernized society this westernized culture you can't tell these women that they're possession you know because like i said man I, hey our women are so-called women you know they don't, they don't they don't even belong to us man just like the children man hey our women they belong to esau right now that's their daddy that's their husband right now that's their god right and this is why hey when it's all said and done the lord's gonna hey he's gonna make a statement all right because hey like i said coming across the man of the lord man that's not gonna be a, uh just an average thing man like, like I said, the scriptures say it's going to be like uh, it's going to be like coming across a rare commodity, man. Precious gold, fine gold. All right. You see, and like I said, if, if, if you don't come under that, uh, if you don't come under his umbrella, then you won't have no hedge of protection. Because like I said, it's going to be by way of his, uh, um, um, you know, coming up under his his vibration. All right. Submitting yourself to him and being a possession, which we you were created to be our possession. All right. You know, if you don't want to do that, then, hey, you know, see how far that feminist attitude takes you. Um, But you see, during Jacob's trouble, this is when women are going to find out, you know, or what, you know, they, they're really going to find, uh, 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 know what this is talking about. Because, you know, hey, like I said, during Jacob's trouble, women, women are going to revert back to their natural state and be in a possession. All right. You know, they're going to go back to being quiet, shut, shutting the hell up. All right, doing what they're told, and you see, because like I said, it, it sounds a certain way, but you know, um, nevertheless, man, hey, because put it like this, man, um, hey, we're we're captives, we're we're slaves to Yahweh Bashmah Shai, and we love it. But you see, you know, with the the, the, the play on the words, man, you know, it, it may may seem, you know, uh, a certain way, but when you when you really look into it it's, it's not that bad because like i said hey we're slaves to yahweh but we love it, it you know it's, it's not like being in slavery under esau no man we love it we love being slaves to yahweh you know so hey because pre hey, pretty much put it like this and then, like i said it's going to sound it's not going to sound good because like i said you know we're you know being in this westernized culture and in, in this westernized way of doing things i'm gonna put it like this man in the kingdom hey to the women they're going to be our slaves in, in, in the kingdom 
but it's going to be a good thing. You're going to love it. You're going to enjoy it. All right, because we're not going to rule over you in wickedness. You know. You see, in our kingdom, we're actually going to be able to love our women, enjoy our women. They're actually going to be our women, our kids. We're, we're going to actually be able to enjoy our kids. All that, man. You see. But hey, like I said, a lot of you are going to find this out on, on, on the hard way on this side. And not only that, you're going to die a horrible death on top of that. You know, so this is why it's best. It's, it's in your best interest, man. To, hey, to come up under a man of the Lord. Come up under his umbrella, man. You know, because not if you don't, then, hey, when you read verse 26 or 25, it says where no hedge is. There is. Excuse me. Where no hedge is there, the possession is spoiled. You see, because, hey, like I said, you know, hey, if you're fine without that protection, then you're prone to, you know, you're open for 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 anything, man. You're you're open to becoming a, a, a spoil. You're 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 prone to becoming a booty. All right. Anyone, you know, you're pretty much up for grabs, man. For anything, anyone can come and snatch you, take you, do what they want, have your way with you. That's that's what that's what happens if you're found with no no protection. All right. If you don't come up under a, a man of Yahweh Hashem and, and you don't come up under his his hedge of protection. All right. You know, anything can happen to you. You see? So again, it says where no hedges. And again, how is that, that hedge of protection going to come? It's going to come by way of a man of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, as I read in Ezekiel 9 and 4. Where no hedges, there the possession is spoiled. It says, And he that hath no wife will wander up and down Slakia. And he that hath no wife will wander up and down mourning. All right? So that was a point, all right. Um, going into this 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 hedge, man. Hey, you know, if you're not found with uh, an Israelite man of Yahweh Hashem Shai, then you won't have no hedge of protection, all right. Because you know, you may think that you're dealing with a dealing with a guy, multiple men now, and you know, they may not they they they're not men of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Then hey, you know, because again, going into Second Ezra, I think that's the 16th chapter. See the 15th or the 16th chapter it talks about how hey, man, a lot of you women are going to become widows. All right, you're gonna be found with no helpers, man. No man to protect you. No man to, you know, keep you safe or, or none of that, man. You know, you're, a lot of you women are gonna be uh, destitute. You, you're gonna be by yourself. You know, like I said, you know, keep that that that. See how far that feminist attitude takes you, man. Because I, I promise you, man, when the, when when the Lord really puts the pressure on the world, a lot of you women are gonna fold. All right, and I, I know that because hey, the scriptures say how men are gonna fold. These so-called men here, a lot of them are going to fold. They're going to be turned into women. What does the scripture say? The woman, she's a weaker vessel. So if you're going to have, if you have a lot of these men that are going to fold, right, turned into women, how much more you women? How much more the weaker, uh, you women, which are the weaker vessel? You know? So these are things to take into consideration, man, because, hey, you know, um, it, like I said, man, it, you know, the way brothers get down, especially on the women, you know, I, I, I watched the Apostle Aramlab's video going into the situation with, you know, all the, 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 the women uh, emailing him and, and you know stuff like that you know um and you know the way he was getting on the women right because like i said you'll 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 watch that and, and watch how brothers get down on the women when for one um it's, it's it's exhortation it's supposed to be exhortation man you know it's, it's supposed to be a uh because reproof believe it or not it's an act of love all right so when you know you get cut or you get corrected, uh, don't take don't don't feel no type of way about it, man. It's 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 it's, it's an act of love, man. That's that's real love, all right. You know, but like I said, hey, the case for the majority of you, you're gonna find out the hard way, unfortunately, you know. But nevertheless, man, um, I don't want to ramble on, man. I just like I said, I just thought that was uh, um, you know, some 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 spiritual gems that the Lord, you know, he 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 dropped on me, uh, peeped that today, you know, and I motivated me to do this lesson so you know i hope it was uplifting edifying giving all praises to you how about shemal shai double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone how about shemal shai brought a thumb to you sincere believers to the hopeful elect those willing to next time shalom